James Ballmer. Hey, didn't I tell y'all about 6 9 I told y'all that this was all a plan, bro. And that he's going to make amends with the Latino community in all countries. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to get that bag. I'm telling you. Look, I'm going to play a video. Hold on. I'm trying to tell you. Look at the video that he did after he got jumped. Tell me if it, if it, tell me if this looks like it was a setup or what. What's up, guys? I want to take this time to say thank you. Um, I know I take a lot of time off. And um, for you guys to support me, give me 6 million views in a day and a half, over 500,000 likes, and um, 40,000 plus, 50,000 plus comments, it means a lot to me. Um, I'm, um, I'm sorry, over the three years, since 2020, I only gave you two songs. Um, it's not that fair, and I'm going to try to be more consistent. I'm sorry, I just want this time to say thank you. I love you for the support. Mi gente Latina, la quiero. That's right after he got jumped. Right after he got jumped. Supposedly. Allegedly. Allegedly. Because I don't believe. I, I could believe he got jumped. But I believe it was done on purpose. You know? So. Look, look at this. Right after that. What's up, guys? I want to take this time to say thank you. Um. I know I take a lot of time off, and um, for you guys to support me, give me 6 million views in a day and a half, over 500,000 likes, and um, 40,000. Bro, he went viral. He went viral by getting jumped. He went viral, and now he's making amends with the Latin community so he can be accepted, so he can get super super wealthy you know what I'm saying the whole South America Spain Puerto Rico you name it all these countries that are lat Latino that speak Spanish he's gonna get wealthy he's gonna be like Jay-Z I'm telling you don't be sleeping on 6 9 man. 6 9 know what he's doing. He's smart as hell. Bro, why you think he got jumped, bro? Look at this. I don't want to play too much because copyright, but look. This is him right now. Nueva canción que viene próximamente, casi casi llega este treno espectacular. You see how much money he giving out out there in those countries? He's making amends. He going he going to wipe the slate clean, clear his name, and he's going to take over the Latin community in all the Latin countries. And he's going to come back and when he comes back, he's probably going to be bigger than Jay-Z. I'm trying to tell you. Siempre con el mejor contenido, las últimas informaciones. Te Cachi 69 muestra su nueva canción que viene próximamente. Casi, casi llega este treno espectacular. Yo, that shit look funny, though. It looked like they dancing too close together. Maybe they, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they just... It's a tight spot. It's a tight spot, but kind of dancing a little too close right there.
He's making he's making good Latin music, man. Like yo, honestly, honestly, the music that he's making in Spanish is better music than what he makes in English. Like the English music that he did was hood music, trap, uh, you know, music for the ghetto in in New York. You know what I'm saying and shit like that. The songs he's making there. In Latin and Spanish are like high quality songs that could be played inside of bars and clubs all over Latin America. So he knows what he's doing. I'm trying to tell you, he's he probably could be b- bigger than Daddy Yankee because of his marketing, his colorful hair. He's so young. Remember, he's much younger. He's a lot younger. He got a lot of time. He's much younger than 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 than. Uh, Daddy Yankee, you know what I'm saying? If he takes over Latin America, he's going to be bigger than Kanye West and Jay-Z. I'm telling you. And and plus, he got the look. He got the tattoos, the color. He's unforgettable. His name is 6ix9ine. How hard is it to forget that name? You know what I'm saying? He's handing out money in all these Latin countries. That boy knows what he's doing. I'm telling you, I'm the first one that said this. And watch. Watch what's going to happen when he... I believe that he's been forgiven probably. He's celebrating, man. You see how he's celebrating? Takashi 6 9 is celebrating his new success. And the songs that he's going to make out here... I mean, not out here, but in Latin America. And they're going to bang and go and, and, and be the biggest songs. I'm telling you right now. He's going to be a big... He's going to be a big fish then. He's going to be like Jay-Z. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Let me see if I can find any more. He's going all over. He's going to all the Latin channels, all the Latin news. Every I'm t- he's not even focused on, on English music no more. There ain't no money in it. Ain't no money in hip hop. Telling you right now, ain't really ain't really no money in hip hop, bro. Okay, let's see something. Oh, that's the same one. It's called WAPA. So y'all can listen to it. I'm not going to put it on here because I might get flagged. But it's called WAPA. All right, yeah. He got a new song now. I bet you it's going to go. His last song, I think, went. The one that he did over there. So now his mission is to take over Latin America and all the Latin uh, countries and islands. I'm telling you, I'm the first one to say this. Watch. Guarantee he's going to take over Latin America, which is South America, Puerto Rico, Spain, Cuba, you name it, all the way down the line. He gonna he gonna do his Spanish thing and he's gonna make good music in Spanish and he's gonna be a big he gonna be big, real big. I'm trying to find another thing that he did. He, yeah, I, I mean the point that I'm trying to make is that he's he's going for the bag. He's going for the big bag this time, the big one, the big one, the big one. Yo, that that's crazy, yo. I still keep thinking about that shit with uh Let me see. Yeah.
bitch ass nigga. You got your drawers pulled up in your ass. You got your drawers pulled up in your ass, nigga. You broke ass, <laughs> You got your drawers. Are you mad at me about reading the paperwork? Oh, shit. Are you mad at the nigga that made it possible for me to read the paperwork? Yo, but that makes sense, right? He said, did you, um, you got mad at me for reading the paperwork, right? That's what Wax said. But did you get mad at the people that made it possible for me to read the paperwork? Right? Yo, you read paperwork. So you mad at me about reading the paperwork. Are you mad at the nigga that made it possible for me to read the paperwork? Every time, nah, look, I don't give a fuck where it's at. We got a nigga out here named Jabba Low, right? Rat. Low Beach nigga. Shout out to my insane, all my niggas, my <laughs> niggas, all that. Oh niggas, my right? God, bro. Why did you keep his chain? He don't want to throw it. He want to get through it. He's a public nigga. He didn't get some weird shit. He didn't touch the kid. Got caught with a transgender. <laughs> Down. Let's get to it. Did you break it down? All the other shit. Fuck smile all for the other side. Fuck Let me see the smile right here. Give me the smile. You bitch ass nigga. You got your drawers pulled up in your ass. You got your drawers pulled up in your ass, nigga. You broke ass yeah, fuck nigga. Fuck you, fuck you got your drawers fuck pulled you up family. in your ass. Fuck you, Boy, family. you ain't getting shit to the nigga that gave you a fuck bitch. You talking about nigga. You ain't getting nothing. You got a smile right here. Nigga, shut up. Look at China Mac face. Why did you keep his Look at China Mac. He don't want to talk. He want to get to it. But, uh, but leave it alone. But listen. You okay. see China Mac so face? Is that so comedic? Yo, I swear. China Mac wanted to laugh. I swear. I, yo, I swear. I t I'm telling you. China Mac wanted to bust out laughing, but he couldn't. He couldn't. If you see. Let me see if I can freeze it right where his face is at. He wanted to bust out laughing and he couldn't because he didn't want to disrespect Mano. Let me see. He didn't want to disrespect Mano because Mano from, from the city. I'm a, he's trying not to... Yo, he's trying not to laugh. Look at his face. Look at China Mac face. He's trying not to laugh, man. He's trying. You bitch ass nigga, you got your drawers pulled up in your ass. <laughs> Look at China Mac, little smirk. Yo, he's trying not to laugh. Look at China Mac. Hmm. Look at his. I'm trying to make it. Look, he's trying not to laugh. Watch how his face changes. You got your drawers pulled up in your ass, nigga. You broke ass yeah, nigga. You. Look at his face. Look at his face. Look at his face. Look at China Mac face. Look at China Mac face. He's trying his hardest not to laugh. China Mac is trying his hardest not to laugh. He didn't want to disrespect me. Yo, I don't even think I would I, I would have been able to hold that, bro. He was like, you got your drawers pulled up in your ass. Yo, he was trying real hard not to laugh. I swear, I don't know how he didn't laugh. That shit is so hilarious, man. You got your drawers pulled up in your ass. <laughs> Also, Mano does have a scar. See the scar on Mano's face? Huh. Let me see if you can see. You see the scar on Mano's face? That big scar? That's a big fucking scar that he got on his face, man. Mano got a big scar on his face. Okay, so that's what he was talking about. He said the dude buck 50 him and pulled his drawers up his ass. Woo! Are 
Yo, no disrespect, Mano. You know what I'm saying? That shit just sounds funny, man. I, maybe I'm wrong. Am I wrong? I don't, I don't really, I don't know Mano like that. I'm just going by what they saying. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to stir up no beef or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know Mano like that. I don't know Wack like that either. But I know one song from Mano that I like. The one he did with Nas. The Wild West one. That's the, the only song I, I like from Mano. I don't know none, none of his other music. The one he did with Nas. Nas and Mano. Alright, so... I, that, that's just what I wanted to say, man. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to say that... um, 6 9 is making his moves on the Latin community. You know what I'm saying? And making amends for the snitching that he did. I believe he's seeking forgiveness from the Latin community. Maybe he, maybe they forgave him, whatever. He's handing out money like crazy down there. He's talking to all the OGs, all the people out there. And he's trying to fix his situation. And if he does, I believe he's going to be big, real big. Very rich, like Jay-Z rich. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the first one that said it. Ain't nobody else saying what I'm saying right now. Ain't nobody else saying it. But I knew from the beginning that in my mind, allegedly, allegedly, that he faked his jump or he took the beating on purpose just so he could go viral. And he did go viral. And now he's making amends with the Latin community and he's going to tour all Latin America and all the Latin countries, and he's going to become very, very wealthy, and he's going to make a lot of music out there. Mark my words. I'm telling you, I'm the first one to say it. So that was my little thing for the day. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll see what else. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. There's another topic I got to touch on next time. Uh, I wanted to talk about the guy who got, uh, the, the guy who invented Cash App that got murdered. He got stabbed. The guy who invented Cash App. Yeah, that's something to talk about. I got to look into that story. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird, man. You know what I'm saying? Why would the guy from Cash App get murdered? That's kind of weird, man. I don't know if that's going to affect the app in any way. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be looking for some more um, topics to talk about. Probably drop another video today, if not tomorrow. Um... Love my uh, James Bomber family. Love y'all. All my 40 subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. When I do lives, I'm going to make sure that that we uh, I address y'all and we talk on the lives once I start doing lives. Pretty soon. I just need to get up some more subscribers. But anyways, love, peace, and light. Love and light. Love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Bless y'all and y'all families. Uh, what do y'all think about Takashi? What you think? You think he's going to take over Latin America? He's going to become rich? Let me know in the comment section. I do. I do. I think that they underestimated him, and they always did. And I think when he when he starts making these Latin hits, and he starts becoming like Michael Jackson out there, y'all going to say, damn, James Bomber was right. Okay. Now, uh, the shit with, Mac, with WAC 100 and Mano, what y'all think about that? I think they too old to be arguing about shit. And the stuff that happened with Mano when he got stabbed and if he got his drawers pulled up his ass or whatever, that was old. That's old news. I don't think they should be talking about it now. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. It's funny. It's entertaining. But I, they shouldn't be talking about I mean, they old already. That's like me talking about somebody who punched me in high school and gave me a wedgie or, or some somebody who bullied me when I was in high school or even after that. I mean, they are they already in their 40s, 50s. That's old news. You know what I'm saying? Even talking about Troy Ave and all that, like, I think these guys should be off the street by now. I mean, I think that maybe they are. They on the internet. Maybe they, maybe they just bullshit and talking shit to each other. I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. Peace, love, and light. We out.